For today's video, I'm going to talk about the books that I want to read during the month of November, but of course, we're gonna give a little twist to my TBR. So hi and welcome back, my fellow fantasy book lovers, or if you're new here, hi and welcome. My name is Kathy, and I'm a fantasy book lover from Belgium. For November's TBR, I want to do something that I haven't done so far, and it is to make it themed, not specifically on a type of style of book, so not vampires or dragons, but I only want to read standalones in the month of November. Now why do I want to set this challenge for November? It's because actually in December it's going to be my wrap-up month, in which I'm going to go through all of the series that I am still reading, etc. So the TBR for December is already known, it is finishing current series or series that I'm reading, um, and I actually want to wrap up as many as I can before the end of the year, so that means in November I want want to focus on standalones. Now you may or may not know that I have a big Excel file in which I input all of the books that I own and I actually added a column to that file and put in for every single book, so it's over 250 books, if they are standalones or part of a series. And then of course I filter that to the standalones that I haven't read yet and boy there's a lot of books. So I'm not gonna list every single standalone that I have on my shelves, however I'm going to talk about a few in particular particular that I would like to get to during the month of November. The first book on my list is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. This book is super gorgeous, I bought a special edition second hand for it and I haven't touched it ever since I got it. Now it has to be vampire themed or I believe it is vampire themed but I haven't really looked into the book all that much so it might be good for me to go in blind. I've had a lot of good luck with going into books rather blind without looking up too much about them, so I hope this will be another book that I really enjoy. After that I have a rather short book that I have to admit that I haven't read yet, and it is Stardust by Neil Gaiman. I have seen the movie Stardust X amount of years ago, like a long time ago, and I do remember some small bits about it, but it's a very thin book and I feel like if I can just read it then I can talk to you about it and may or may not be able to recommend it in my short book recommendations as well. Up next is the book that I bought during the month of October with every intention of reading it during the month of October and then not doing it. It is Carmilla by Sheridan Le Fanu. This is actually going to be part of a book series that I'm working on, but then I have to read specific books in order to make that book series. Um, so yeah, this is one of the classical vampire tales and I just, I really want to read it because I have read Dracula, so if I read something else that compares to Dracula, I can compare it and I want to be able to do the same for Carmilla and comparing it to other more modern vampire stories. Up next we have Lady Macbeth, which apparently is a witch's type take on the classical Macbeth story that I haven't read, so I'm not sure if I can compare it to it. Apparently it also doesn't matter that you haven't read Macbeth. So I really wanted to read this book, I had every intention after my Waterstones haul to read it rather fast and it just ended up on my shelves a little bit forgotten. So that's why I'm putting it on this TBR list so I will see it again and hopefully read it rather soon, because it does seem like something I would enjoy. I would also love to get to one of my omnibuses which is called Vampires Never Get Old and one of the authors in it is V.E. Schwab. Now these are all short stories with of course vampires as their main team and I have mentioned this in a previous video as well, I am constantly overwhelmed with the amount of books that I have. I want to read them all but there's not enough time to read them all so I have to make choices which one I read first and then I buy a new book and then I get shiny object syndrome because it's a new book and then I want to read the new one first, hence why I this weekend bought Fang Fiction and I'm now already reading it like two days later. Whereas I have so many books in my shelves that have been there for a year that I haven't touched yet. So it, I feel kind of guilty towards books that I've owned for a longer time. But then on the other hand, yeah, there, there's so many good books and I just want to be able to recommend you both new books and old books and everything in between. Um, yeah, and I just love reading, so I, will, I know I will get to them eventually. And then the last book that I want to put on my shortlist is The City of Stardust. I actually own this book or owned this book in two special editions. I kept the one that I loved most. I love 
the vision of this book. I mean, I love the cover, I love the artwork, and I want to know more about it. And I hope this is going to be... Okay, this might be a long shot, but I want to compare it maybe to Stranger Dreamer or the world building of Lainey Taylor, because I hope that the City of Stardust is a little bit similar to that. I want to just... I want to have something like dreamlike, and I hope fingers crossed. I hope that that book lives up to my expectations of it. If not, well, yeah, <laughs> then we'll see what I do with it. So that is the basic setting for my November TBR. I'm only going to read standalone books. Now the standalone book that I've mentioned in this video is only a very small part of the amount of standalone books that I have that I haven't read. So I might possibly be including some other books as well. Feel free to let me know if you've read one of these books, what did you think about it? Or if you have other books that you will definitely be reading during the month of November, feel free to let me know in a comment down below as well. As for usual, all of the books that I've mentioned will be listed in the description box of this video. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you'd like to be, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week and I would love to have you here for every single one of them. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you very soon with a new video. Bye!